Hi guys, how are you doing? So today we're going to be doing a follow-up video to the 3070, um, which I did recently where I was unboxing and benchmarking. Um, but today we're going to be looking at the power draw of the 3070 and whether you need to upgrade your power supply. Nvidia tell us that you need a 650 watt, you might be alright with a 600, but what's the truth? Today we're going to find out. Guys, so Nvidia is telling us the 650 watt power supply is what we need. But it's not until you really do some testing that you kind of really kind of know how much your system draws. Today we're going to be using two systems to test. The first one is a Mini ITX build, which I did recently. Um, that has got the uh, 3600 in there and obviously the 3070. It's got an AIO um, and I've put all the details up on the screen. The second one is my 3900X system. Um, again, running the 3070. It's got 280 millimeter AIO and lots of fans and all of that. That is actually using an 850 watt power supply. The testing will revolve around um, some gaming and some video rendering um, just to kind of get a feel for what the actual the power draw of the system is. So if we have a quick look at a couple of websites, uh, one is Newegg and the other is uh, EVGA. If we have a quick look at um, Newegg first, uh, for the 3600 system it's saying that the uh, power draw should be 418 and then the 3900X should be 478. EVGA website is saying that the 3600 is 453. If you're overclocking, add an X 100, and then the 3900X is 508 plus 100 again if you're overclocking. So I don't know if the uh, the 100 is accurate. I don't overclock, so kind of all kind of bets are off really um, with power draw depending on how aggressive it is. So you know, take that with a pinch of salt really. So the testing I did was um, an hour gaming and then about 30 minutes video rendering. I did the testing and I was quite surprised really. Um, Newegg and EVGA had their kind of their figures, um, but the actual reality was slightly different to be honest, um, in a good way. Now on the 3600 system, when video rendering, the maximum power draw was 221.2 watts. I was quite surprised about the, the score there because I thought that with um, video rendering it was gonna take a lot more power, but actually looking into it, um, the actual graphics card isn't used so much in video rendering. Um, if you're doing CAD work or something like that, that's kind of different. Um, so the power draw is quite low. Gaming was 332.6 watts, and that was kind of nothing. That was using a high refresh rate monitor, so it wasn't like capped at 60 FPS or anything like that. So I was like really surprised. So then I tested the 3900X, and video rendering was 291.8. So that's a bump of, a, of just over 70 watts. But if you think about it, the 3600 only has six cores, 12 threads, the 3900X has uh, 12 cores and 24 threads. So there's a lot more kind of work that it's doing and it's kind of, it's working harder so that you can account for it. And when I did gaming, um, it was 358 watts. So that's the maximum. So they're saying that you need a 600 watt power supply at least, but they recommend 650. But these kind of figures are just, just make that to be total bollocks really, doesn't it? Say you're overclocking and you're using EVJ's um, website then they're saying 508 plus 100 so 608 and that would be kind of right about where nvidia have said but as i've said it's not until you test something yourself that you realize and you know the testing is quite easy i mean for instance if you're unsure how much your system draws then just buy a little adapter uh, i'll put a little link in the description I got it from amazon i think it was about 15 pounds and it will kind of like put your mind at ease really because you might think oh yeah i've got to get a new power supply because nvidia tell me but you don't because your power supply is fine. So if you've got a power supply that's a no brand, it's bronze, it's 500 watts, yeah, I would recommend upgrading. If you've got a gold power supply, let's say 550 and above, I think you're gonna be absolutely fine. Now, obviously, try it. If it doesn't work, you know, for whatever reason, then yeah, fair enough, then you might need to upgrade. But don't upgrade just because you're told that you're gonna need a 650 watt power supply, because it's not true. In my 3900X, like I said, I've got a 280 millimeter AIO, I've got about six fans, I've got two hard drives, obviously the graphics card, the 3900X, I've got an NVMe in there, and it only drew a maximum of, what was it, 358 watts. Okay, would I be comfortable with a 450 watt in that system? No, just because you know I'm, I'm a bit cautious. But if I had a 600 watt like I've got, then yeah, I wouldn't have a problem having the 3900X and the 3070. And to be honest, I think that's what I'm gonna be doing. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.